Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is a video clarification to Shall Not Be in Fridge's last video uh, in response to mine about the stewardship of values. And I think I, uh, I think I, t I used, <laughs> I talked about too many things, and that, and that took me away from my point. So. Um, First and foremost, yes, I agree with you, shall not be infringed. Violation is a great word to define what's going on in California. And I think we should absolutely be as tenacious as possible regarding um, the Second Amendment and shooting and everything like that to those that are trying to take away the rights. That's not really what I meant, and uh, I apologize that I did not make a better case of explaining myself. We need to remain doing all those things that we're doing. Uh, being proactive in, in not allowing laws to go through, funding the NRA, so on and so forth. In, in California, I uh, give money to a place called Cal Guns, and if you're, um, if you're interested, look them up, they're great. Um, so, with that said, on the left hand, we defend our firearms and our rights and all that stuff. That doesn't change. On the right hand, though, it seems like it would behoove us to use that, and we can do it at the same time, that time to bring more people in, or those on the fence that haven't really decided about firearms, uh, to bring them into the fold and, and show them and be positive and be responsible and uh, being open and, and forthright, all that good stuff. I'm not saying touchy-feely, I'm not saying it has to be this, you know, leading a pack of Cub Scouts, Cub Scouts in the woods with your 22 and showing them all how you can plink targets. I, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it seems like we could be, in some cases, some of us, nicer when it when it when uh, when we talk about people and what they think about firearms and the typical person that personifies a firearm owner slash shooter, blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to say that you need to change who you are or, or censor yourself or, you know, whatever. I'm just saying, it seems like for every one time you go shooting, not you shall not be a friend, because I, I don't know what you do when you go shooting, but okay, let's take me for example. I think that I might be able to include more people not necessarily exposed to firearms uh, to a day at the range. I think that I should make a more active role in doing that, and in doing so, I think that it will increase over time the perception of firearms in my local community in Southern California. Maybe if I make it about myself, it makes the point a little easier to swallow. I'm not saying we pussify ourselves or we lose any of that kind of stuff. I'm just saying that we can be every bit as hard as we've ever been and we can take somebody potentially on the fence about firearms to the range with us. And this could be anything. This could be fishing. This could be any of the other things where um, more and more regulations seem to be placed upon them. Metal detecting. You know, let me let me bring in metal detecting for a second. Um, when the community sees somebody swinging a metal detector around, they automatically assume that we are uh, tearing up the, the, the gardens and lawns of the of the local houses. In fact, the tools that most metal detectors use, uh, there are some that don't use these tools and there are some that are detrimental, but by and large, the tools that we use are actually more positive to the grass than not because it actually introduces more air or it aerates the lawns, you know, whatever. Particularly if there's lots of stuff to find. The more stuff that you got to pull out of there, the more you're aerating the lawn. Uh, another good example, gold prospectors, just, you know, weekend warrior gold prospectors that use uh, suction dredges. Uh, in California, we are doing a massive battle against suction dredging. The reason is because uh, people like the Sierra Club and forestry rangers that kind of have their own head up their ass think that suction dredges actually are detrimental to the wildlife. Uh, they believe that because it's obviously a man-made thing that's going in and it is changing parts of that ecosystem, that environment. As we found out through studies, um, the suction dredge is actually beneficial to almost all, actually, I can't think of a, um, a whatever, a, a wildlife that lives in the, 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 uh, the streams that we like to do the suction dredging in that isn't beneficial for them. For the trout, suction dredging is great because it, it creates a deep pocket of water that they prefer and and why they prefer it is during the summer months because the trout actually go to the deeper water. There's more oxygen down there. They are happier. They live longer. Trout generally like colder water. 
It's also great for uh, their spawning beds, anyway, so on and so forth. If I don't take the time to explain that to you, and if you're outside of, uh, of that whatever community, gold prospecting, metal detecting, so on and so forth, you might see me swinging a metal detector around and think, that asshole's chewing up my lawn. Or you might see this guy with a gas-powered uh, suction dredge, you might say, that asshole's killing the wildlife. Neither of which is true. But if I don't change, if I don't, as the, the one enjoying the sport or the hobby, take the time to change your mind about it, um, you're going to come to your own conclusion. And I think we can all agree that there are a lot of conclusions people jump to concerning firearms and everything else that goes into those uh, those hobbies, including metal detecting, fishing, and uh, and prospecting. So I, I hope I, I hope I clarified my point. I'm not saying we don't defend it as tenaciously as we, we, we would through whatever means necessary. And I'm not saying we pussify ourselves. I'm saying that we take the time to get out a, uh, a more positive message if it means not, you know, somehow modifying who we are as a person. If you're not, you know, humbling yourself to create a positive message for firearms, then do it. If you can't drag somebody along with you to the range that normally wouldn't shoot a gun and, and you know, a good example, uh, Call of Duty kiddies, you know, the kids who have a preconceived notion about firearms, they play these video games, they don't really understand what the hell they're talking about, you take them to the range with a 22, you put the gun in their hands, and you sit there and you show them safely, you don't shoot, you show them safely what real firearms are about, and you'll start to change the community, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, that was the point, is am I wrong? Can the community's mind be really changed on things like firearms. I hope this clarification was helpful. Um, I, I, <laughs> I hope I didn't piss you off, man. Because God, towards the end there, I swear I thought you were gonna, you're gonna punch the camera off the, uh, off that shelf. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying we get weak in any way. We keep, we keep fighting for exactly what we believe and what's in the Constitution. No question there. All right, man. Uh, I appreciate the response. Thanks a lot. Bye.